gave me a 55 up, take that out. Right? So you could actually eliminate some stuff. And you know that your answer has to be somewhere. So the minute I do a 3, guess what? I know that my first digit has to be a 3. That's how I cheat. It's like, I want to save time, right? If you have 39%, uh, 55%, 75%, and a uh, uh, 43%, I know right away that it has to be a 39% or 38%, whatever that might be. I don't even have to do the whole thing. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I will get stuck there. I'm going to panic and try to like, do this whole decimal problem with less than a minute or less than 30 seconds because you already did the problem and then you're trying to figure out how to, how to get it. Okay. Uh oh, you don't understand this? No, okay. I'm just saying, no, I'm just saying that they mentioned uh, number six as a. Uh, I'm still confused about that. I Which still can't visualize so six. Number six. Which one? Wait, wait, wait. Are you confused about oh, number wow. nine? Are you, are you coming confused about you? number nine? Number nine. Okay. Oh, well, Do you see where she got 15 over 38? Yes. 15 okay. is yellow. Okay. is yellow, and then you add up okay. everything. Okay. And then you end up dividing. And once I divide it, if you divide it the bigger number by the smaller one, but you want to divide the smaller number by the bigger one. Oh, yes. Remember? 15 over 38, I know the answer is less than 1. Okay. <laughs> Remember that, okay? So before you do anything, right, before you do anything, tell yourself this is a fraction, which means it is a, the answer has to be less than 1, right? 1 is 100%, right? So you know that it's less than 100%. All these are the logic that go with the problem. But the number six that we briefly addressed, oh, I yeah. still actually don't understand okay. the question. <laughs> so a number from 23 to 35 is drawn at random, which I accept there would be a range of 12. 13. 13. Now, That's you know what I don't like about this? Does, does that include 23 and 35? It does not include 22 and 35. It's between, so the number can be what? 24? Oh, no, you have to from. say between. So oh, from, from 23. Yeah, from. yeah, so from 23. 24, yeah. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, how many numbers is that? 13. So what is your answer? Oh, a number divisible by 2. Ooh. Okay, what numbers are divisible by 2? 24, 26, 28, 5, 6. So what is your answer? 6 divided by 13. Yeah, 6 divided by 13. Okay. Again, for you, this one is not the, the math problem, right? It's understanding wow. what do you mean by randomly taking something. So I can see where you were reading it wrong. Yeah, I can see that. It's still always the way that the question is what asked. Number was you that? have to really look into that. You have to so that is number six. And that's right? why yeah. you want to do a lot of problems, so that you can see the problem as a thousand ways, right? You have a lot of problems here where it is asked many, many ways. Yeah, I got it now that when you did that, for whatever reason, I just wasn't reading a number divisible by two. Ah. That's where I was thrown off. Yeah. Now that I read it, to the show that you saw it, it's easier for me to understand. Right, and that's the reason, even for me, sometimes I don't want to do it in my head. I like to draw it. Draw it out. Draw it out. Okay, table it. Okay, put it all, just, just so that you can see it. So, so, so this is, that's a good time that you got to be careful, right? A fraction, when it is a fraction like that, right away, your answer has to be less than one. And remember, you won't have a calculator. Yeah? Or do they allow you to calculate? No, no, no. 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 Nothing. Oh, no. That's why you have to do it. That's why you didn't know how to do this. Yeah, and then I thought. But guess what, though? For some of you, even with a calculator, you're going to pick the wrong answer because you are panicking. And you're going to go, well, what happened? Well, it should be two, but it's not on there. Right? And then you're going to pick the one that's closer. You may or may not get it. Right? So you got to be logical and say, wait, that's a fraction. So if it's going to be in percent, it has to be less than one. Or less than 100%. Oh. They're all multiple choice. Yes. Math is all multiple choice. Yes. Okay? I took math.
Eight-digit number? It's like, there was like, no, not even eight, there were like two, four, there were like a small. One question was like half It took like four Serious? It's a dice, yeah. It was a dice question. So is the dice question have a table or something? It wasn't a, it was like a slight, 20 numbers. And I have but to what sit there like, but like, oh, so, so my question is, if you see that problem again in your head, was there another way to do it they are tricking you? So that it's not that you have to add every number. I freaked that and just put the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not but even but you, but so, so think about what we talk about, right? Yeah. Given mm -hmm. you only have one minute per problem, yeah. it's likely that when the problem have a lot of numbers in it, they are not asking you to do each of the numbers. There is another way. There's another way, right? They're asking you to look at pattern, or they're asking you to do elimination, like, oh, wait, I can see the pattern here. I'm not needing to add everything. Or I can add it with estimation, so that I don't have to add, like, eight-digit number, right? So there are ways to do it so that you don't spend another five minutes trying to add every number. So remember, you only have, like, a minute. A little bit over a minute, depending on if you are a second language. Do all the ones you can do first? And then yeah. come back. That's I was right. taking all three tests, so I was like See, that's, out and like that's oh. the other thing. Not a good thing to take all three. Oh my god, you are, you are so stressed out. But I'll tell you what, they try to sneak you when you register to get because they right now I uh, registered for the two of them and it will not allow me to schedule one at a time. It keeps jumping them together so I don't do it. So that's one problem. That's one problem. They are making you do the... If you only pay for one at a time, like the $50 versus two for 75 then they'll let you do one test at a time. But now I'm, I'm having a hard time separating those two. It's not letting me schedule them separate. Every single time, no matter what, it keeps Really? Yeah, okay. You have to do it all. So one exams $50, but if you all two is $100. So tricky. Yeah. So that's yeah. how they get you. I think they, got, yes. they caught on so you because somebody lost. So if you take your time and they do the right thing. To do what? Yeah. We're going to space it out. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to somehow. Yeah. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, I already did it. Let me know. I'm going right away. Oh, have you already signed up? I already did. I'm taking it on Friday. Which one? Yeah. 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 Well, I want to do it so that I know that if I have to do it again before the. the I know. I'm going to accelerate mine too. Yeah. We have that for people hire. It is true. That's the reason you are doing So I'm like, going to take it. If I fail, I fail. Have you done the other ones? No, it's yeah. not a fun experience. It's a very oppressive. I, well, I scheduled my pedagogy right? one. Too. So, so like you that's going one to end where I don't feel any yeah. superior than any academic counselor or any advisor. Yeah. 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 All right, let's get back here. I just lost you guys. Okay, a lot of it called me. That's what I. I guess it's just called a website. Yeah, maybe I don't want to see any break for me. And then I will tell you, I can't for the math. I'll just sit here. I can't for the whole journey. Is this helpful? Even though I feel like the earlier part is a little harder to understand, but conceptually, some of you may not have heard the explanation. So when you fill, because many of you kind of go, oh, I add, I subtract, I divide, and then it's like, do you want me to show you how to do it? I didn't use any of that before. I just did it logically. Yeah, that's what happened. I had to like add, and then like divide the part. Yeah. And then yeah. So, so thinking of it logically. Every time I try to prepare, you go to test. No, no, you go to test. Right, and you're looking at your test. What is the probability of 24? Okay, so view. Yeah, so I'm going back to Yeah, cool. Is that? So it, I don't have it a lot because sometimes like that kids will touch it in the wrong one. Oh, no. oh, it's about right. Uh, 11, so, how many ways can you get 24? And a three year old. Yeah. Okay, so if I'm what doing way? that, you're going to click the prepare. What way? Oh, how many? So then you. 
That's what probability is, is that how many ways are there that are possible and what is it that you want? Oh, right here. Test content and sample question. Okay, right. So then you go to test the content. So the second. Yeah, and then here. This is the dot. Well, I've tried to use the sample. No, 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 no. 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 What it says is that the is So how many numbers are there in 22? So somebody told me that they basically practiced the sample one, and there was a few that was on the, the pedagogy content. Well, if they, did, they, did you go to Metro all the time? Okay, so they say that Metro students do well on pedagogy and more on the basics. No, on the basic tests that we're doing. Oh, so the content for me is really fast because I can teach geography and economics. It's you have to do all of them, then. it's crazy. So I have to do subtests and stuff, but you have to do a lot of subtests. So I do two but I want to get to that. I'm going to try to find oh, that because yes, 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 yes. So it's like super easy. 29. Hey. Oh, yeah. 12. I gotta yeah, 12 numbers. That's helpful. Yeah, yeah. So it's just right on the. You just have to look. I got one chip. <laughs> and prompt. Oh, and then a lot of it, too. Because it depends on what you want to do. So you look at it as a girl. Might be a mix. Might be one you want to do. Yes, same. I have a lot of energy. That's what we're just doing right away, though. Right, exactly. So probability of the same thing. I thought the same thing, but I'm getting it. There was another question. I can't believe it. Thank you. That's it, mate. I don't care. 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 So probability is really logical. Mm -hmm. It's just that when you start having to die and die. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. And that's the reason I didn't draw it, right? That's the reason I didn't draw it. You start, right? Either with the women at the beginning of the one, or the men. It doesn't matter when you start. They can go back and forth, right? You should still get 24. So when I say, what is the chance that Scott um, I could do this, right? What are, what are the chances that um, 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 let's see, how, what is the question I could ask? Oh, what are the chances that the guys with the with A will be in the committee? Then you, you circle up all all this and circle up all this. Okay, there are two guys. There are six, right? Six out of twenty-seven, right? So drawing it out helps you understand the problem. Otherwise, you read it and you come, oh my God, what is it trying to tell you, right? Draw it out, draw it out. So probably it's such a hard if you kind of like understand what it's asking, draw it out, put a table, put a decision tree, however you want to do it. But that's too hard to do in a short time. Right. Like number 13, it's got a cube with numbers and then a smear with letters, but they're not like sequential, so there are multiples. And then they say figure for P without F or 11, and how do you back out one option out of the whole? Well, uh, I mean, without drawing it out. If I drew it out, I could tell you, oh, I can cross that that's out. That's what I do. But you can't do it's it not that. It's, once you have practice, it's not that hard to draw it. Right? In one minute? OK. They should now, I get, huh? Oh, sorry. They should have an uh, unsaved key. They are. They do. They do. They do. They do. Yeah. yeah. They, they just <laughs> turn the next page on. Huh? It's in red. And one number oh, But it doesn't work it out. So you got to know how to get there. Some of them before worked it out a yeah. little. Yeah. Which problem them. are you talking about? Alan? Number 13. Uh, what page? It's number 18 page. Uh -huh. So you roll a cube that has number 66. Six, 
Without the the two of the eleven on top or the one of the F underneath and calculate that first and then figure out backwards. Um because I would do F and eleven first. Right? Uh, number thirteen. Eight, eight, eight. Eight, thirteen. <laughs> on thirteen. I, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't know whether you're going to promise coming, but I will still draw, right, to draw it. Okay. So it is, um, so it would be, the Q is 6, 6, 6, 8, 8, 11, 11. Okay, and then the spinner is E, e. and then 3 C's. And a D and an F. D and F. Wait, what does it say C? Oh no, I guess you're right. Oh, you just did it in the order. I see. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, you did. So right away, without doing everything inside, how many are possible? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Do 36, right? So I know my answer is 30, something over 36. And then all I have to do is take out the two possibilities of 11 and the one of F. And if so I'm not, not passing out where they intersect, then I will know how many fewer. So not F means what? Everything on this side, right? Nothing. Everything on this side. Does everybody see that? Yeah. I'm not even doing the inside. Oh, and then you cross out and 11 then the other one? And then you just count uh, the inside and box. And it's not F or 11. 11. So, so that's slipped. Not 11. So that means it's right. All right here. So then you count 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4 20. 20. 20 over 36. So At least that's how I do it, because it's logical, I'll, I have a better chance of getting it right. Does everybody so see what I did? 10, 20 did? over 36, would you reduce down? Yeah. 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 So it would be 10. There are two ways to reduce it. Yeah. But does everybody see, I want to be able to draw it in two colors, let's see if I can. Oh, 5 over 9. So that is eleven. Oh, I got Oh, no. 5, 8. So the greens, the greens are not F. Everybody see that? Yeah. The greens are not F. I'm going to eliminate F. And you are smart to put F on but the last thing, But did right? you say 11 too, though? No, I'm going to start with F first. Not F, ah, okay. right? Not okay. F, okay. right? And now, within the not F, I also want 11, uh, right? So I'm going to... Uh, this is not 11, not 11, not 11, right? These are the ones that are not 11. No way. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you. I don't like to remember. For, I like to do it. Wait a second. I don't understand at all now. Okay. Well, let's make sure the answer oh. is correct. Yeah. So you, well, no, I calculated. Okay. What, what number is this again? 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Yeah, I'm 
I got that. Five over eighteen. It says only five over eighteen. Yeah, that I got ten over eighteen, and I got five nine. So I got twenty. So something something is wrong with my logic. What's wrong? I got twenty over thirty six. You got 20 over 36, then I went 10 over 18 and 5 over 9, but it says it's 5 over 18. So what did I do wrong? Let's think about it here. Because I, this is the English part, right? So you want probability that it is not F and 11. So, so what did I do wrong here? I think it has to do with honestly, but I'm, maybe, I don't know, put it in order maybe, the order that it is. No, the order that shouldn't matter. I think what it says maybe F, I mean, what it says 11, is it 11 oh. or 1 or 2? Wait, we are reading this wrong. Oh my God. Really? Oh my goodness. What I saw, what I saw is probability of not F, not 11. Oh, F and 11. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> so, so what we did is correct for this problem, right? But what they're asking is probability of not F and 11. So the rest are... So, so, there's so, only so this is a 10. There's two down on the right-hand side that are F11s. So that's all. That, right? right there. So the 10. So what does that mean? Oh, does the test do that? Okay, this is very good because you know from an I didn't know he was. I totally read it wrong. I totally read it wrong. That's how okay. I understood right. the first one. Right, right. 